Hey guys, and welcome back to Style by McKenz. Today I'm doing a clothing haul. You're probably like, Mackenzie, you posted a clothing haul a week ago, and I'm like, you're not wrong. But actually, um, Zaffle sent me a nice, generous package, and it came in, and I'm so excited because I just love new clothes so much that I want to share these with you. Also, I know that you guys are really interested in hearing my thoughts on Zaffle bathing suits and just the quality of bathing suits that are um, cheaper that you can find online, more affordable options. So, you know, I keep saying it, but it's actually happening. In the next... Hmm... Within the next week when this goes up, see I'm kind of thinking ahead because all of these are pre-filmed because I'll be away on vacation but I wanted to have things done so I'm not exactly sure but it should be within this week my blog post comparing the quality of a bunch of more affordable options for bathing suits from five different... So I'm working on this blog post where I compare the quality of bathing suits under $20 from five different retailers, Target, Forever 21, Zaffle, Shein, and Amazon. So. That is coming soon, but so today I'm not really reviewing the quality of them. I'm just showing you what they look like and trying them on. Um, and I will go into more in depth in that blog post and YouTube video that will be here later this week. Who knows when? So yeah, now that I've talked for 86 years and the most basic thing to understand, but I feel like it's confusing. So I'm going to just hop right into it. Like I said, these were sent to me, but my opinions are obviously honest because... I'm an open book. Ordered, I ordered in a size medium, which was the first mistake because I'm not a size medium. I'm a size small for sure. But I ordered a size medium because the reviews were like, this is kind of small. And I realized that they were talking about these little armbands are really small, but like my arm is like the size of like a stick. So I don't know why I thought, any, I don't know. So don't size up, just order your normal size. This is a really cute olive green, as you can tell I'm into olive green. It's like a ribbed material, just like a bandeau. It's supposed to go like this and then the straps go like this, like on your arms. You can't really move your arms past here. I'll try and demonstrate in the try-on portion. I've never done a try-on haul um, like on YouTube, so like we'll see how it goes. Because this is a little big on me and you can't really move your arms, I wouldn't be wearing this in the ocean necessarily, but um, I think that it will be really cute to wear with like a pair of denim shorts because you can't tell it's a bathing suit um, unless I told you that. I think it will be cute with denim shorts for like a lookbook or something. The bottoms are really cute but too big, um, just olive green. These definitely look like they would cover a little bit more of your butt than their typical bathing suit. So yeah, I like that, it just doesn't fit that well. Okay. Like I said, I'm really trying not to go that in-depth into these bathing suits because I want you to watch the other posts. So, I also got this bathing suit. The bottoms are like semi-high-waisted, not super high-waisted, but not super low-waisted. Like, they're not low-waisted, but they're not high-waisted. Um, they do cover a majority of the butt, really cute. And then the top that I got is just this black, like, sports bra style almost. And then it ties in the middle. Um, it looks really wide, but it's not super wide. You'll see in the try version. I ordered this yellow bathing suit, and I thought I had ordered this in a bandeau style, but I guess not. It doesn't matter because I like it either way. These bottoms are the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, like I said in my last haul, um, when I was ordering bathing suits, I was trying to get more out of my comfort zone. I want this blog post of bathing suits to be really versatile and just real and honest and like something that people can relate to. And the reality is not everyone wants a skimpy little triangle on them. Not everyone has the body shape for low waisted bottoms. You know, some people are more comfortable in really high waisted bottoms. So these are really high waisted. They are so adorable. Yellow is my favorite color. So I love these. And yeah, these are out of my comfort zone, but I really like them. Like this bathing suit really worked out for me in the sense that it was different and it was like something new. I like the top a lot. It's a little big, but it's really cute. I ordered a small in both those last two bathing suits and then and this bathing suit I ordered a medium in and it fit like a small. Um, so I don't know guys, you have to read the reviews, you have to read the size charts and then you just have to take a good guess and hopefully you'll get lucky. These palm print bathing suit bottoms are so cute. I love these. They are like a little like narrow in the crotch like I'm not gonna lie this bathing suit is so cute this is probably my favorite of the four just because it's more like I could tan in this the yellow one I love but it's a little too big like on top so I'd be a little worried like jumping over crazy waves in it but you know 
I'm still going to do that, but this bathing suit is just the palm print top and it ties, the straps tie right here and then the back is a hook. Is a hook. This is just more like a triangle style. I really like this one. Super cute. Definitely size up in this one. I also got this romper, which I really thought was a two-piece set when I ordered it, um, but it's not. It's navy and white stripe, like a silky material, and it looks like this. Um, just really cute, and it comes with a belt, which is on the floor, but I'm not going to get up and get it because then my camera will be out of focus. The picture that will be in the blog post for this YouTube video that I'm wearing this in, I have the belt and it's cinched at the waist and it's so adorable. I really like this. Rompers are super nice and easy. You do have to wear a sticky bra with this, but that's okay. You know, it is what it is. Then I also got this two-piece set, which I adore. The bottoms are a little big. Again, I ordered a small, but I am like a petite. Like, I'm not really, like, I am a small. Like, if I order from a website, I usually would get a small. Um, if that's the, if there's no extra small, I usually order a small because I am a size small. But I'm just short, so, like, a lot of things, like, are a little bit thinner than normal. And you guys know I got my wisdom teeth out not that long ago, so I haven't really eaten that much. So I've definitely lost a few pounds from that, so I'm, you know, <laughs> slimming down. But it's okay, I'll put that weight back on. These will fit in no time. The best part about these being just a little too big is I could just pin them. I pinned them with a safety pin um, when I wore them last, and no one could notice. Like, they look fine. So these are the bottoms. Really cute. Just a ruffle down the top, or down the top, down the middle, and then a ruffled bottom. Just black and white gingham like this. And then the top is adorable as well. Just a little black and white top with just cami straps that are adjustable, which is awesome. Um, I love 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 this the this top with white high-waisted shorts for my Rachel Green 90s lookbook <laughs> give it to me I love that cannot wait to wear these separate and together they look adorable as well that's why two-piece sets are the best like I just can't say enough good things my last thing from Zaffle today is this black and white striped dress it's not exactly black it's like a dark dark gray charcoal gray the top is um, smocked. You know, in my other videos that I filmed today, I kept saying ruched, but it's really smocked. But that word was not processing in my brain, so now it is. This is smocked, not ruched. So this smocked dress at the top, and then it goes like this. I thought that this was going to be a midi. Like, on the website, it looked like it was going to be longer, and it wasn't. It fit, like, a perfect dress length, like, one and a half inches above the knee, and it looked awesome on, but it just wasn't as long as I thought. I didn't care because it still looks gorgeous on. Um, love this. The straps are a little, like, wide, like, kind of far apart from one another. Like, you would expect them to be a little bit closer in. Not that it matters. It still looks perfect on, but I feel like if they were just a half inch more in then you could wear a normal bra with it but because they are a little bit wider and i hate bra straps i did wear a sticky bra when i wore this so so yeah i love it i keep saying i wore this like i still kept the tag on everything just in case because i thought the price would be on here but it's not but i kept the tag on these when i was taking the pictures for the try on portion of this haul and like just tucked it in but like now i'm realizing i should have just taken them off because you know so yeah that is all for this haul i really hope you guys enjoyed just a few of my favorites like i said my bikini post is coming up it will probably be up by the end of this week if not it might already be up i don't even know because my schedule with traveling is getting all kind of messed up and it's like jumbled and all my blog post ideas are all over the place and my youtube videos especially because i'm trying to blog every single day of july so Forgive me, like, if I'm, like, not making sense right now. I'm sure you'll understand because you'll see all the posts up. But, you know, if not, just stay tuned. If it is already up, go check it out. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.